Hey, hello friends. My name is Ravindra. In this video, we will see how to convert CSV file to the PDF by using the Power Automate. Okay. In this video, we will convert our CSV file, comma separated file, to the PDF. Okay. Without using any premium connector. And this complete flow is a dynamic. Okay. And uh, you can also choose a column as per your needs as well. Okay. So let's uh, jump out to the <coughs> browser. Okay. First, we will create one CSV file. Okay. For that we will go and search for CSV data generator generator so from here set I have came okay so simply I have given some column names and just uh, thousand rows we are copying so let's download it so uh, file is downloaded okay let's uh, go to our power automate before going to the power automate okay for demonstration purpose what i have done i have created one sharepoint site here given name to that power platform okay in this uh, <coughs> drive location i have created a one uh, document library in that i have simply uploaded of you can be see uh, we simply uploaded the csv file here let's we jump to our flow okay i also open the run history of the flow so you can be understand it more better Let's go and click on the edit. For demonstration purpose, I have taken the manual trigger flow. Okay. You can take any trigger action. Okay. Like uh, when item is created or modified from any trigger action, you can be take. Okay. After that, uh, my file is uh, storing into the our SharePoint document library. Okay. So that's why I have taken the um, one SharePoint action is present. Okay. Let's I show you. Let's here search share point. Go to the share point. Okay. In the share point, let's we take here. We have some actions. Get file content by using the path. Let's we select this action here. Okay. Here, let's we go our site. After that, we will select the file path here. Okay. So just click on this icon okay after that i am going to share document and selecting my document here okay export csv okay after that i have renamed this uh, name to the get file content okay you can be see here so same uh, step i have done and just simply rename this let's have delete this step okay so after that i have simply created a new line okay why i have created a new line okay i just show to you in the new line okay if you see the output here show the raw output okay so we get here slash n okay in our um, html when we have to start a new line we use the slash n okay so in this case we simply use a um, to split our lines okay we use a slash n okay after that uh, our file is present in the, into the drive okay in the sharepoint our data is stored into the binary format okay if you see here in the run history okay we get a file content into the binary format you can be see okay so simply to convert that binary format data okay here we have used converting base 64 to string action okay in this we use here base 64 to string okay basically base 64 to string function is used to convert binary data into a string format okay simply what i have done here from body we have to select the content that's why select the content as well you can be see here okay so in this format you have to write here from dynamic content write the expression so after that um if you see here okay so after this action we are converting that binary data into a string format you can be see here so simply here we are converted that binary data into string format if i show the output here so this is our output you can be seen let's go to the next step okay after that we are simply splitting uh, our lines okay means uh, we get all the data if you see here okay in the output okay show raw, raw output so in the single line we get all the data okay so uh, to convert that string into an array format we use the split function here okay so basically split function is used to convert okay string into an array format okay so if you go 
and split by lines okay if we go to the second step here okay so you can be see how string is converted into array format okay so every single line we are converted let's i show open the file as well so you can be understand it more so uh, this is our data okay so we completely get this data in this split by lines okay so we will remove the last line here okay why we are removing the last line okay if you go at the end of our data so uh, we have the thousands lines okay in the csv when we are taking the data okay so this one extra line is also come by default okay so to just remove this line okay we use here uh, we take the first output of our split lines okay and then simply subtract minus one from here okay from the count the length and minus one so by using the take function we will take the first elements okay by using this we will get the total length of this split by lines okay and we are subtracting one from here okay as i show you the uh, expression also let's we type take if you see the take action okay first is take the collection okay and then it will take the integer means count how many um, rows we have to take first row first count of objects so this will take here okay simply here we will pass the output of our split by new lines and then the we convert this uh, length okay subtract one from here add output of our split by new line minus one okay so it will subtract one from here okay after that we will take the field names okay means all the field names that we have this control up these are all the field names okay so this is the first row so that's why we use here first function okay if you see in the power automate we use the first function okay first function used to take the first row from an array okay so by using the split we simply we take the first output okay and on the basis of commas okay so in the csv we have this all the values in the comma separated form okay so we are split that into comma so we get this complete array okay this complete array we will get here So this is the expression first we will write the split okay after that first is the second function you can be see collection to take the first object from an array then we will pass the output of our split by lines okay this output and simply we are separate that on the basis of comma after that uh, now we have both the data okay we have the headers as well as rows okay so by using the select action simply we will map this data okay first we will use the skip okay because uh, to map the data we are we not required this first row okay so that's why we use here skip function okay basically skip function is used okay to skip the number of records from the above okay if you have to see the any functions uh, uh formula okay and the uh, integers we show you like here you can be read okay skip take the collection okay from the here we are passed the output of remote last line okay and then it required the integer means how many number we have to skip okay so in our case we have to skip the one so we just type here one okay simply after that we have the array so simply we map this okay output field names zero after that field names one Field names two, field names three, field names four, and so on. Okay, that columns we are required. Okay, simply that we are here passing here output field names zero one two. We are doing simply indexing here. Same here also. Okay, you can be see split item. Okay, on the basis of comma zero indexing we are doing here indexing for this also like zero one two three four five. Okay, so I just show you this is a zero. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. In our power automate, indexing starts from zero. Okay. So this is headers part. Okay. One, two, three, and this is a row part here. 
one two three you can be see here zero one two three in the mapping this is a headers okay and this is a rows okay in that after that we are simply use the parse json okay output of select we use here output and simply to generate the schema we will go click here okay after that we will first use the array okay in the array we have our object okay so first we type array okay array is uh, represented by the square bracket and the objects are represented by the curly braces okay so simply we pass here and click on the done and uh, if any required field is we not required so we just simply go here and remove this so if any blank file is come or flow will not false okay not give the error after that we will use the par json output here compose in the body because we have to generate an html table so we directly not use the par json into an create html table so that's why we use here compose after that <clears throat> we take the output of this compose here you can be see and generate the columns automatically okay because we already mapped the data in the select that's why we here use the automatic okay after that we will add the css okay so this css i will be mentioned into the uh, comment box okay from here you can be take okay because um, after that we will use the create file action here okay in the create file simply we will go add an action and we will use here create a file action of one type create simply select this action here okay give the folder path where you have to create a file okay after that first we will create a file in the html format okay in the html format we will get the table okay and then html format we are converting okay first we will pass the css okay like if you see in the html format also we will first pass the css and then we pass the body of our html so same here we also do first we pass the css and after the body of our html table okay after that we are converting this create file okay into a pdf okay so simply we will go to dynamic content from the dynamic content we will select here okay file locator simply typing here file locator okay so this action we will select here dynamically so our file is converted file okay and now we have to create a file so we will pass the here folder path okay simply by using here or you can be simply give one root okay after that we will give the file name converted file and pass the guid okay in your case you can be give name as per your convenience okay and then we pass the file content from this dynamic content okay from dynamic content we will pass the file content of converted file this action here okay okay so let's uh, run our flow and let's check it out okay so this we run our flow let's click on the done so our flow is running you can be see okay um, let's uh, create file taking some time because we have thousand of data here okay so our flow is run successfully let's say copy the file name okay and let's open the OneDrive here in the OneDrive, let's see search our file name that we are copied just let's click on the enter so you can be see this file we, we are converted now let's see So this is the output of our flow you can be see these thousands of rows we are created and with html so that's all about friend okay how to convert a csv file to the pdf okay if you have any suggestion for me okay you can be provided into the comment box okay or if you have some doubt also you can be also mentioned in the comments box okay yes, thanks everyone have a nice day and please provide your suggestions also it will help me uh, to make better every day that's all friends